Well, Michigan-based Borg Warner will begin a construction next month on a $28 million tech center, center in Noblesville. The R&D engineering and testing facility expected to bring more than 300 high wage jobs to Hamilton County. And for more on the Indiana Technical Center, I'm pleased to be joined by Borg Warner Vice President of Product and Manufacturing Strategy, Tanya Wing Wingfield. And Tanya, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Race weekend. So many people say Borg Warner. They associate yeah. it with the iconic uh, uh, trophy at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the winner of the uh, Indy 500. But Borg Warner, a company that's been around for many decades and really has a global footprint. Yes, we do. We are in 62 countries and we have uh, 27,000 employees, 62 locations, 17 countries. So uh, a very a big fo uh, footprint and consolidating here in Indiana uh, related to uh, what was an acquisition of Remi Inter National a couple of years ago uh, by Borg Warner. So you're going to take facilities in Pendleton and Anderson right. and merge into one new cutting edge facility in Noblesville. Right, that's our goal. We uh, are you know, definitely committed to Indiana. Borg Warner from the start said so they were very interested in our engineering talent. That's what they bought. So very excited to be merging into one facility off of exit 210 in Noblesville mm -hmm. and really focused on retaining current employees and really in a location to attract future employees. And, and I guess that's part of this story too is again staying in uh, Indiana with that presence yeah. and this an outgrowth of that acquisition in 2015. Uh, taking two facilities is going to be a lot more efficient but talk about this is a 28 million dollar investment so this mm -hmm. is a big investment by the company talk about what will happen there and the kind types of functions that are going to happen in this new facility right so today in our two facilities we have engineering in the R&D and in our facility in Anderson we do all our validation testing and sample building so that will put us in one building we will have a little over 105,000 square feet and we will have a two uh, two-story office building and then one floor for the validation and test so all the engineers will be able to go out and watch their products, watch them being built the first time. So that interaction and collaboration will be really important as we move forward. Is there a real focus in terms of the R&D and the engineering and testing and things, a real focus of this facility? Yes, really on electrification. One of the things that Remy brought from the acquisition was both rotating electric and then a full range of electrification products. Mm -hmm. So we'll really be focused on not only continuing to evolve our traditional products, but really getting into electrification starter base start stop to full drive motors and full systems. And this really continues an evolution of sorts, I think, at Borg Warner, which many years ago was primarily a, a transmission mm -hmm. focused uh, company. And many yeah. people remember a former a big plant uh, at one time in Muncie, but now the portfolio is a lot broader. Oh, yes. You know, this started as a company at Warner Gear was the original founder of the company, and over time they've continued to grow the portfolio, and Remy was the most recent acquisition or portion of that. All right, let's talk about a timeline for this new facility uh, in, uh, in Noblesville in terms of uh, groundbreaking opening and when you expect to get things going. And while we do that, we can maybe show the Borg Warner Trophy, keeping the 500 theme this weekend. <laughs> Great. Yes, we actually were approved by the Noblesville City Council and the mayor. We thank them for that in early May. We're breaking ground in June, and then and our plan is to start occupancy in April of 2018. All right, 300 plus uh, high wage jobs uh, coming to uh, Hamilton County. Tanya Wingfield from Borg Warner, thanks for joining us. We look forward to following the story. All right, great, thank you. All right.